So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to set up the App Inventor 2 companion app for use with your projects or apps in MIT App Inventor 2. So what exactly is the companion app? Well, the companion app allows us to very easily test our apps to see exactly what's working and what's not when we're creating them. So we can debug them, you know, we can mess around with them very, very simply. I would say it's one of the biggest improvements over the old App Inventor, because in the old App Inventor, we had to set up, you know, all these project files, we had to get the emulator working, we had to do all this crazy stuff. Now we just download an app uh, called the Companion app, and we can test our stuff out very quickly. Great. So with all that said, how exactly do we get the Companion app? Well, you'll notice here, I have a little window that's showing what's going on on my Android phone. So you'll notice it is in fact my phone. I'm just kind of swiping through to show you that, you know, that I am manipulating it to the right of my computer here. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna go to our Android phones and we're gonna wanna click on the Google Play Store. So I'm gonna click on the Google Play Store here. And actually I wanna go to the home page of the Google Play Store. That's actually what we're about to do. But I wanna click on the search bar right here at the top. And I'm gonna type in App Inventor 2. So I'm gonna type that in and then I'm gonna click search. And then from there, you'll notice it's the first result that's pulled up. So this MIT AI2 companion, you're going to want to click on that. And then you should see an install button right here. And then your page should look a little bit like this. I'm just going to kind of scroll through it so you can see what it looks like. Great. So we're going to want to click on that install button and then click accept. And then finally, we're going to let it download and install to our phone. So that should take only a quick second. Sorry about that, my software is acting up here. Let me turn down my volume. So that should only take a second or so, and you'll notice it did, right? So now it says uninstall or open. We could very quickly open up the app from here, but since I know we're gonna be using it quite a bit in this course, I'm gonna create a shortcut to it on my phone. So I'm gonna go click my home button, and then I'm gonna go to my apps drawer. So I should give my phone a second here. Sometimes it acts a little bit crazy. So. There we have it, then I'm gonna click on my apps drawer and I'm gonna to navigate to my, my app that I just downloaded, right? That App Inventor 2. So I'm gonna click on this, I'm gonna hold it, and then I'm gonna just drop it right on my home screen. Great, so from there, I'm gonna open up the, the app by clicking on it and I should be presented with two options. Connect with code and scan QR code. Great, so everything went according to plan. I'm gonna put the phone down for a second. Now I'm gonna move over to the browser. So here is my browser. You'll notice this is the home page to App Inventor 2. So these are all of my projects. Yours might look blank right now. You might not have anything, but these are the projects we're gonna be creating for the course. In order to show you how to set up our companion app, I'm gonna open one of them, give you a little bit of a sneak peek about what we're gonna create. So I'm gonna open up this project three and I'm gonna just leave that open for a second. So the first thing we wanna know before we go about connecting our app to the companion app is we wanna make sure our phone and our computer are on the same wireless network. So the first way we're gonna do that, or the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check that on our phone. So I drag down my navigation bar and I'm gonna click and hold on my Wi-Fi button right there at the top left. And you'll notice it says connected to BrownNet. So right here, connected to BrownNet. On my computer now, I'm gonna check what network I'm connected to. So now I'm gonna go to the bottom right here, click on this little button, and that'll open up and show me what networks I'm connected to on my computer. So you'll notice it says connected to BrownNet. So I am in fact connected to BrownNet on my computer and on my phone. So connected here and here. So the way you verify these settings might be different depending on what computers you're using, but this is how you're gonna do this on Windows 10 and on the Samsung Galaxy S5. That's the phone I'm working with right now. Now that we're, we've verified that we're connected to the same network on both our computer and our phone, what we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna click on connect at the top left here with our project open, and then we're gonna click on AI Companion. And if we've done all of that correctly, we'll be presented with a QR code, that's this image here, this funky looking image, and a code, this uh, six letter code right here. So we're gonna go back to our companion app. I'm gonna click home and then click on the companion app. And remember these two options, right? Connect with code and scan QR code. 
So the first way I can connect to my app is by connecting with the code. So I just click on this little bar here and I type in the code I see. So this T-S-T-C-E-H, T-S-T-C-E-H. I, I enter it exactly as I see it. So I noticed I have a misspell there. So T-S-T-C-E-H, and then I'm gonna click on connect with code. And if I did everything correctly, I should see the app running on my phone. And I do, right? That's pretty awesome. So now I'm just gonna verify that all this stuff works. And it does. So pretty awesome stuff. So that's the first way we connect. We can connect. We can just punch in that code and click on the connect with code button. The second way is with the QR code. So I'm gonna press back on my phone. And this actually causes the app to crash for some weird reason. When I'm click OK, I'm gonna open back up the AI2 companion app. And then I'm gonna go back to my app and I'm gonna click on that connect button once again. I'm gonna click on reset connection because these buttons are grayed out and they won't allow us to click on AI Companion. And I'm gonna click on the Connect again and click on the AI Companion. So that'll open up the same window as before, and this time we're gonna click on Scan QR Code instead of the Connect with Code. And once I've done that, you can see my phone, I have a little uh, camera running right now, and it's looking for the QR code. So I'm gonna put it right over the QR code, and if I've done that properly, it'll snap an image, and then it should pull up the app. Great. And it does the exact same thing, right? So there you have it. We've connected to the app with either of our two ways, with either punching in the code or connecting with the, the QR code, taking the snapshot. Um, and now we can go ahead and mess with our, our, uh, our app on our phone and see what's working and what's not. So I hope you guys learned how to do this and it made sense to you because we're going to be connecting with the, with the companion app quite a bit in this course. So if you have to go over this video a few times just to make sure you get a good feel for it. And I will see you in the next video.